Hey Limitless and uh, welcome to yet another week of Undefined. Uh, my name is Davis Kadinji and I'm joined here by uh, Bundy Richard. Yes, and we're so, so glad to have you. We're amazed um, for all those who've been man managing to join us. And uh, if it's your first time, welcome. Uh, for those who haven't subscribed, please subscribe. <laughs> yeah, and enjoy even as we continue. So uh, we've been doing this series known as Undefined, you know, how we're not defined by the season or the year that we've been through the, you know, the effects of COVID. And so we began the series by reflecting on the crisis that was, um, how the ministry had to adapt, uh, the different things that were done. And then we, last week we tackled the committee. So with regard to the committee, the different people who lead different uh, ministries, how God used them even during this season to, you know, further his causes, you know, and ensure that ministry continue. Yeah. And so one may easily think that, you know, the committee just does this alone. And that may not be the case. <laughs> <laughs> isn't <Yeah>. the case. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it isn't the case, you know. And so maybe Bundy can tell us a bit more about that. Is there, you know, certain people even beneath the committee, mm. certain people who have stepped up and, uh, yeah, mm. what on that? Uh, thanks for that question. Uh, yes, um, yeah, again, Bundy is my name. I serve as pastor here. And um, uh, indeed, it has been an interesting year as uh, we've been going through. And uh, as I think I've talked about the committee, uh, Kina Davis, Leanne, now that I've started, I'll just have to mention so, uh, Davis, Leanne, Clinton, Alex, uh, Sharon, Sarah, Irene, Linda. Uh, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing well. Uh, yeah, yeah yes, very well. I think I've mentioned all of them. Uh, I, yeah. I, I believe so. If I, if I haven't, I'll send you money. <laughs> and uh, these guys have been um, at the focal point. Uh, the heat of the uh, at the heat of the moment, just trying to manage all these people. And as uh, our youth ministry here at Mamlaka, uh, Limitless, um, we run with uh, these students who are nine of them uh, in the current structure, and we task them to not work alone. In fact, it's a rule: um, you get in, you need to get a team. You can't um, do this alone. The more you do it alone, and it is possible to do it alone, you could end up feeling that, uh, you know, I've got it. And um, every day, it will just be duty, 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 work, work, work. Um, and never delight, because delight comes through teamwork. Uh, of many me's, as you mentioned last week, there are many me's in that team, but um, together they achieve something great. So part of our leadership training for our committee is for them to go out and form a team. So they have what we call the tier two leaders, a subcommittee, and each and every ministry, department or, or so, uh, they run with someone. So like you, I'm sure there are fellow guys that you are working with to ensure there are Bible studies, uh, Liana as well, um, Alex, uh, Clinton, uh, so that we can all enjoy this together and say, yeah, at the end of the day, this was all through the glory, uh, for the glory of God, by his grace, for the good of the people. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's basically how our, our team runs. Ah, okay. Yeah. So a community of sorts, that's oh, another team. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Move oh, okay. beyond move beyond congregation. Yeah. Congregation is good. That, that's exactly what the church is, yeah. but a community. Yeah. Yeah. So in that frame of mind, what comes to your mind when you think of the word community? Ah, you know, community is a Greek word, nah, but wow. <laughs> uh, community. Yeah. Um, so of course there is unity. Yeah. Uh, they call you this me trying to be smart, but <laughs> there is, um, it implies a form of unity uh, of not not only of being but of purpose of goals um we did something in the lifeline series where we talked about um one god uh, one father one mind um one body one spirit uh, 
there, there is a unity that's difficult to uh, achieve. Uh, uh, for example, uh, a marriage is a community in a sort of way. These two are trying to be one. Uh, two different personalities, two different beings with different histories, different desires and likings. They will never be the same. Um, a pastor friend of mine used to tell me, if you want to marry someone who's exactly like you, uh, just marry yourself. <laughs> uh, and that wow. humbled me. Uh, yeah, just... You know, I've been seeing some of that actually. <laughs> Like people are just tired of being forced to get married, so they're like, ah, I mean, see, I have me. Oh, well, uh, oh, wow. Independent, right? <laughs> yeah, like an amoeba, just, <laughs> just alone. So. Yeah, yeah. So, so, anyway, sorry, yeah. so this unity is not of people who are the same, but who are similar. There's something yeah. that unites them. They, they are different. Think of a university. Uh, anyway, this looks like a teaching on the word community, but... Um, when you talk of uh, a Christian community, because yeah. you can have a community of thieves, uh, <laughs> community of murderers, and you know they are achieving something. For not, we don't <laughs> condone theft or murder. Uh, please. Never, These never, are examples. Never, never, uh, never. Uh, please censor us if we are. <laughs> and we can have this these sorts of people together trying to achieve something, but talk of a Christian community. There is a, we're united under the body of Christ. Um, Christ is the head of the church, and we form this body. We come together um, to achieve something great, and this is the glory of God. So that's where all labels, as we mentioned last week, fall away. All social classes, you remember you're a Christian first and foremost. We all have one hope, one faith, one Lord, one baptism, one God, um, one mind and we focus in that way. And that's what we call a Christian community. Um, under Christ, for Christ, uh, we'd say like Lincoln, um, a government for the people, by the people of the people. So for Christ, by Christ, of Christ. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Actually, um, I believe it's been echoed here before that uh, the union or the communion that we have is a community of saints under Christ beats any bond that you can have in this life. You know, like you have more in common as a believer in Christ, you being here in Nairobi and someone being in Israel mm. or in Pakistan, etc. and they're a Christian. You have a deeper bond because Christ is our bond, mm. you know, like in uh, Ephesians, if you will. Yeah, even First yeah. Peter 5, 8 actually says, yeah. um, not 5, 8, 5, 8, 9, 10. Mm. Um, I believe it's 10 mostly. Uh, yeah, 10. It, it says, uh, be comforted um, in your sufferings because many believers around the world are undergoing the same trials. So, of course, you might think, I'm in Kenya, everything's okay. But our unity with the Christians in Iraq, in China, makes us pray. So you can never come to a point where you're saying, I'm, I'm not praying. Yeah. The community goes beyond just physical presence. There is a, a unity that... Um, words can't explain, like those Van der Waals forces, those mm. covalence bonds, you just can't explain it. Um, and again, that's a story for, for another day. I believe we don't give community as much credence as uh, should be. Yeah. yeah. But uh, interestingly enough, the year has made it difficult to have uh, community, you yeah. know, which has been a really saddening thing, but thankfully by God's grace we're able to move online. But um, actually, when we make our own reflections and when you come to physical church and when you contrast it maybe a bit with online, there's a sense in which there's just that oomph <laughs> that community <laughs> has. Yeah. <laughs> so with that uh, in mind, um, what are some of the things or aspects of community that were hindered in light of COVID, in light of the lockdowns, in light of mm. the fact that, you know, we've been unable to meet for so many months? Mm. Yeah. Um, oh, again, as mentioned last week, um, many of our ministries suffered in light of achieving our one goal, tra tra transform and transfer our, our people so that they can do all this for the glory of God. So of course, it hampered our Bible studies. Um, that's, that's where life happens, you know. Uh, you not only want to meet and read God's word, but you want to do God's word. Yeah. So you go read this in Ephesians and you want to practice it, you know. Uh, you read this in James, told true religion is this, to minister to the widows and, um, um, and, and the low in society. You know, how, how can I achieve that? So our uh, Bible studies were, were really uh, ravaged by that. Um, other factors of community, again, our service, hey, so much of community that goes on there because in our services, we desire to pray the word, to sing the word, 
to actually preach the word, uh, pray the word, uh, as in every aspect of our church service, it goes just beyond ticking boxes. We want to have a community, a fellowship, yeah. um, as we as we do our services on Sunday. So that was hampered. Um, uh, we were joking just uh, a while before we even started this uh, recording. You know, uh, people who even wanted to date, <laughs> you know, maybe oh. you're just there and yeah. you saw someone and you're like, this is my year. This is, hey, I'm going to ask her out uh, to the 2nd of uh, March. <laughs> and the government. Uh, uh, <laughs> we don't do that here. <laughs> don't do that here. You see those means of Aslam uh, Ali? No. Yeah, okay, that, even me haven't seen that. Uh, so <laughs> they, hey, Pastor, they, uh, which means no, are these no, no, speak no, no. General knowledge. I just, just hear mm. them. I don't know them. Mm. Uh, yeah, they... Punde si punde. You desire this. Um... And this great desire says those who desire this actually desire a great thing. Um, our wife is a gift from the Lord. Um, you know, so they have to find a way of uh, saying, oh, oh God, I, I hear you, I see what you're saying. Uh, so how can I still keep in touch? Um, and maybe I've escalated it it's too far to romantic relationships. Um, maybe even just friend friendships. Yeah. Yeah. You really are a good friend to this person and you haven't talked to them since March. You don't know how they are doing, how they are faring on. Um, the people we've lost, the people yeah. we've um, Yeah, yeah. So our uh, community took a hard hit. Mm. It really took a hard hit. And that's why I think I'm grateful this uh, month we were able to resume yeah. our services just for I, I think one or two services just to feel a sense of physical community. Yeah. Yeah. So that was really hampered uh, by COVID. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's an amazing thing that we're actually back, and uh, yeah, we, we thank God indeed. So uh, let me ask you, what surprised you? Um, like, what are the things that, let's say, the limitless, the mamlaka, or the universal church as a community? What are some of the things that they did that may have surprised you through this year? Mm. <laughs> the most. That's, that's, that's such an overwhelming question. Mm. Um, and I'll, of course, limit to the ones that really stood out. Mm. Um, I have really, really been surprised by what people on fire for God can do. Um, those who want to attempt great things for God. You really, really don't know what's possible until you see people on fire for God. Yeah. Uh, you literally see hints of why the apostles died the way they did. Um, when they say, um, nothing will keep me from giving all the glory and honor to God. And that really surprised me. Oh my, the people who came and hosted uh, the services, uh, be they as young as Tabby, uh, or guys who've, who went ahead before us, they are finishing school, uh, like Jemu, um, guys who are seasoned in leadership like Doris, you see them come together um, to stand in the gap for those who can't make it. Those guys who came and sang, um, that really, really surprised me. Because when you're with them in service, they look so, ah, minyamaza. Mm -hmm. But you trust them to do something great for the, for the kingdom of God, uh, that really surprised me. And um, yeah, I think that's really what stood out. I could say so many things, unless you have a follow-up from that, I could see so many things, but that really surprised me. I could literally believe the disciples died for a living savior. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. That's a quotable quote. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Any... I didn't even hear it. Died for a living savior. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, allow me to ask, like, what was the most <clears throat> memorable memory that mm -hmm. you've had this year? You know, something that really makes you feel or um, see the essence of biblical community. Mm. Um, I think the love, um, the love from from everyone, because mm. uh, uh, you've been here since day one, and uh, you know how difficult it has been. Um, even just the consistency. Of course, you can say, "Ah, our strength," but you've seen the tough times, the difficult moments, and maybe you'll speak on that in the last, uh, probably next week as we conclude. Um, it, it can get difficult, but those things that get you up in the morning and help you sleep at night, um, knowing that you're not producing a show, uh, you're not trying to keep people busy, uh, um, 
you're not earning any money from what you're doing in in light of uh, the recordings mm. the love from the people was really memorable uh, how they show up uh, they take time they interact literally risking life and death covid is in the end they make their journeys from their households um yeah, I, I, from far places far places i got was your kimao yeah uh, guys who left kina nakuru yeah. uh, nakuru uh, eldoret yeah and actually mm. something i found interest even mm. those who couldn't like come per se uh. they let's say the, like the far, around the first first recordings i think you mentioned mm. this when the family recordings uh, you know yeah. some of oh, them right. weren't even at in nairobi county this is another county <laughs> guys have gathered with the family are singing dancing mm. they send it to us you know eh, it's an amazing exploit they didn't ask for air time bundles yeah. we tell them ah we need clips so that um, guys can see how you're doing these guys will willingly send them and then they'd watch the service online you know limitless can take long so we boiled it down to half the time that we normally take and guys would tune in hoping they were watching the entire time i don't know but you no know, god was there seeing you um and yeah that if that's not love i don't know i don't know what is um of course uh someone shows me a much greater love and <laughs> i know i know what <laughs> love really means of course but, in christ uh, yeah mm. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. True. <laughs> yeah yeah i really meant christ in <laughs> people you know uh, mm. and christ himself and mm. um but if i talk of communal love uh hey, that that was something else that that was something else because every week every week you wonder so what are we doing this time who's going to come who's going to come they're there bugging the committee who's who's coming mm. and some of them will volunteer themselves willing and say yeah i want to come i want to be a part of this year and see how we can do can do life together i think that's what I, there might be so many other memorable moments but let me just boil it down to love yeah let me boil it down to love yeah, yeah. come rain come sunshine yeah. people step up you know mm. it's just a testament to the god we serve mm. how he works in people's hearts how he you know quickens them to do his work it's, it's just an amazing thing yeah. and just to be able to now see it you know mm. in action because i guess when things are easy you can just assume ah you know we're all fine but when things are now difficult that's mm. when you truly people step up that's yeah. when you see faith in action mm. you know it is uh, an amazing thing yeah So maybe you'd like to share something with uh, the limitless community now watching you know. Final. Oh, ah. Yeah, um I I believe two or three things. Uh one, um I I learned a lot that uh community you can be so closed up and think community is just you alone. Yeah. And just like Elijah who's scared running away and telling God uh, I'm left all alone. Uh, God opens eyes and tells him um there are many remnants around uh Israel who I have preserved for myself uh, be of courage you are not alone and we see that in the biblical history every time and again Gideon is encouraged with the same words uh I will be with you um if everyone else leaves I I will be with you and uh the Lord has promised to see us unto completion as he will our salvation um so we could think limitless was alone but oh my we, we were not uh Mamlaka Hill Chapel has a vibrant youth ministry we partnered a lot with salt uh the salt ministry um the chair person the vice chair person were here with us they rallied many people um in their music team and you know those those are times you realize hey we are we are many we are many and we can achieve a great thing together and maybe we'll talk about that uh next week as well so i could see the solterians come in and 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 um that really amazed me i could see people from other churches yeah. um who are not meeting there they'd come in that opens your mind to the universal church you'd yeah. think mamlaka is alone then you see a sound christian from another church and you realize yeah have have faith that other churches as well are preaching the true gospel and that's how heaven will be all races all tribes um all tongues will be there and uh, that was really encouraging yeah. our online ministry uh, grew from 20 subscribers <laughs> now we are we are over 300 yeah. um and that says something that says something of course we're not after 1000 or 2000 <laughs> 
it's every one subscriber who joined in encouraged us and we felt community is possible so i thought i'd uh, applaud that um uh, second lastly um, the, uh, um probably um i desire to just name these guys who came uh, who came um i'd like to notice uh connery steven beth uh, uh, such an amazing family yeah, yeah we got to know them this year uh they brought a lot of joy to us through music um whether it's drumming playing uh singing uh connery even beth uh, sings amazingly and steve as well I, I, that family they did that family clip once for the family get together yeah. That was good. Uh, I can remember everyone who was working and they came. Uh, there's Lisa. There's Rehab. It's your blood that makes the difference in me and made a me way and Kelly. to love me. These guys were working and they'd spare time to come over and they join in for uh, music and even hosting once in a while. I have my own personal friends who I was with in campus, uh, Abi, Rose, Nevis. Edu, Simon, and they come over and help help on this. We feel, hey, Mazay, we're not alone. Uh, seasoned guys here with us, Kinamali, Victor. Your presence is heaven to me. Uh, Chichi. Uh, Seeking you as a precious jewel, not to give up a uh, they came over, they sang amazing songs uh, to the glory of God. Um, if I talk of Solterians, I see Primrose, the salt vice chair, yeah. Pascal, the chairperson, uh, Nancy, John, uh, Rose Chege there. Uh, all these Solterians coming in. Um, seasoned guys again, Kina Doris, Jackie, and uh, Jemu. They actually served in the committee yeah. <laughs> uh, previously, and they were here. Uh, Tabby, um, Young, young and <laughs> amazing. Actually, she hosted with you if, I, if, I, if, I, if, I, if my memory serves me correctly. Um, if I think of the media team, uh, there were guys who were there commenting uh, during the services. There were Sharon Oviambo and Rachel. Yeah. They were helping out with Alex um, as they were as, with us chatting during the services. Uh, that was amazing. So if they said anything weird, it's them. <laughs> go, go look for them. <laughs> Good look for them. Okay. And probably lastly, um, uh, there's uh, Dodo, Witty. This guy is finished Limitless a long time ago. And yeah, they were there. They sang with us for one service. And yeah, that was really, really empowering. And I really yes. loved that. And uh, probably finally, uh, a guy that I, 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 I promised I will mention him. This guy called Brian, mm. uh, Brian Opole. Hey, this, this guy has been a powerhouse, a resource to me, uh, a resource to me, and uh, he's been there since the first day. When we say we don't have uh, ways of recording, we don't have a crew, this guy was there. He was there from the first service uh, till now. Uh, he's really grown in his skill. Um, hey, what, what's fail me? What's fail me? That's, that's brotherhood, that's, brotherhood. that's uh, friendship. He almost felt like part of the comp. the lighting, the, uh, any, everything at the back. Everything at the back. <laughs> and we have few photos of him doing anything because he was always behind uh, the camera. He also came for some other reasons that uh, we all know. <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, we don't want to stress that point, uh, but uh, we thank God for him. We thank God for him. And um, yeah, and uh, someone who's also made my community <laughs> vibrant, uh, my girlfriend, um, she hosted. Uh, just before she started working, and she's been a support system to me. Um, yeah, you know, yeah, I also get down sometimes. Uh, not get down like that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, I also do have my moments of uh, tiresome moments, and yeah. Uh, yeah, you could call it quits, but uh, she's encouraging me. Um, 
and uh, reminding me that what we're doing is important and uh, yeah you need friends like that uh, who want to do life with you and yeah um, look out for that in your own personal lives so yeah. I think that is all I'd like to say yeah yeah it's just amazing like it's it's amazing to reflect and just see the essence of community the importance of community how they are there for one another you know mm. and all this is in light of the finished work of Christ that yes. is our solid foundation yes. a foundation that can never be taken away mm. and you know as we see this as we reflect on this these are just foreshadows of how eternity will be when we gather with now all the saints mm. the universal church for all eternity now with our lord mm. it's an amazing thing that we can actually you know see instances of um, God at work through the community yeah and we we thank you so so much for those who've been apart maybe for a few we may have not yeah. mentioned uh but well, thankful for you oh there's so many <laughs> yeah that's uh, so sorry <laughs> <laughs> yeah we we wish we could buy you all a car but uh yeah you know sadly because mm. of the trade restrictions yeah. and all that yeah this sounds like a good yeah, excuse yeah right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um you know just posing a question to those out there when's the last time you reached out to someone you know checked up on someone if you're part of the limitless community you know when's the last time you bonded over that you know embraced uh, each other in light of the union that you have in Christ you know maybe it might be time to check up look uh, look up someone yeah and so we've come to the end of this segment and uh, yeah next week we'll be touching on continuity you know we've come to an end of the series and the year. and actually an end of the year which is an amazing thing it's hard to imagine how fast time has gone and god has held us through yeah. to it all yeah so join us next week as we reflect on what next you know what does god have in store for us and we hope that this has blessed you as indeed it has blessed us to just reflect on all these things to see the memories to behold all these things you know that god is working all these things so yeah for those who haven't subscribed please subscribe and even before we, we <laughs> yeah. part yeah. and we love you and and we do it this is not a party show. this is this is true we we love our community yeah we really do yeah yeah okay so on that note see you guys next time